Samarium-153 is a radioisotope consisting of 62 protons and 91 neutrons. It has a half-life of 1.93 days or 46.3 hours. The radiation produced by Samarium-153 is beta and gamma. All radioisotopes have unstable atomic nuclei, therefore radiation is emitted, beta, alpha or gamma. This is a way of the atom trying to stabilize the atomic nucleus. In the case of SM153, used to treat bone cancer pain, beta rays are mainly responsible for relieving pain, and gamma rays allow SM153 to locate pain and then distribute itself. Samarium-153, or trade name Quadrant 31, is a radiopharmaceutical. The radiation that is given off is used for treating pain and killing cancer cells for cancer that is spread to the bone, called metastasis. This basically means that cancer cells occur from the primary cancer state, spread, and then launch themselves between bone tissues. According to the conditions of patients, Samarium-153 is injected into a vein. Dosage sizes depend on the weight, height, additional treatment, and general health of patients. The way that Samarium-153 conducts itself to actually treat the pain that the bone cancer can cause is not really known. However, it's assumed that Samarium-153 attracts to bone and focuses in those particular areas. Radioactivity in this treatment travels to the cancer cells in the bones. It effectively binds the cancer of the bone and then emits radiation, relieving the pain that the cancer causes. Any of the drug that is not used in the body is passed out through urine. This treatment reduces the pain of metastatic bone cancer, allowing patients to have an improved quality of life. Use of Samarine 153 lessens the lesion sites and indicators of tumors, therefore increasing survival chances. Bone marrow isn't damaged in the process because treatment is given after its recovery of additional radioactive treatment. Samarine 153 has a half-life of almost two days, meaning the treatment is short and effective. Side effects of low red and white blood cells, increasing the risk of anemia and infection. There is also a risk of low platelet levels which are necessary for blood clotting. Therefore, it could increase the risk of bleeding. Late side effects can occur with Samarium treatment such as the development of secondary malignancy and unrelated cancer. These all contribute to negative factors of using Samarium 153. Side effects of the radioisotope treatment are only temporary and minimal. Treating cancer is vital and patients should be made as comfortable as possible on their journey to recovery. If primary cancer is treated, cancer that has migrated from that should be treated also. The quality of a patient's life is bettered with Samarin 153 treatment and that should be the utmost reason to use it.